Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about closet organization and specifically the five things that I do in my closet to keep it clean and organized. So let's get into it. So the first thing I do that is pretty self-explanatory is that I hang most of my clothing. So this is different. This is definitely new for me because I haven't always lived in a space with this much hanging storage space. So in our old place, we had one closet that kept our filming gear, our camping gear, all of our stuff, and so I had very little hanging storage. But in this apartment, we have another closet for that type of stuff. So this closet is just only clothing, and it's honestly so nice to just have such a like light, airy space. But we're not gonna live here forever, so it's not gonna be like this forever, but I wanted to you know, share this anyway. All that being said, I used to keep sort of like my basic t-shirts in this dresser right here, um, and then hang up other pieces like you know blouses and jackets and stuff. But I noticed that I wasn't ever really wearing the pieces that I kept out here because they were just kind of like out of sight, out of mind. So recently it's been really nice to just have all of my clothing hanging on this bottom pole in the closet. We have two poles, but the top one is so so high I can almost like not reach it unless I have a little step stool. So I hang most of my stuff on the bottom clothing rack. Nick also keeps some of his stuff in here but he prefers to fold most of his clothes so he has like his jackets in here, his like five dress shirts that he owns and then like his suit and stuff. So that's in the corner because it's not accessed very much. So this is like mostly my closet, but he has his own space in the apartment too. A lot of people like to organize by type. So like tank tops, t-shirts, blouses, sweaters, jackets. I prefer to organize by color. I find that when I get dressed in the morning, I'm thinking of like a color that, I, or like a color story that I wanna wear. And then from there I can say like, okay, am I gonna wear like my, basic black shirt or my dressy black shirt. I can look at them both right next to each other and it just makes it really easy for me to get dressed in the morning. The second thing that I've done to keep my closet organized is repurpose this little rolling cart from another area in the apartment. And I use this one for my pants and my sweaters. For one, it really keeps things organized and contained. And two, it really helps me to not over buy things because I say, okay, I have this cart and I could fit my jeans, like my pants and my sweaters on this cart, and if I run out of space, I need to sell something or donate something before I can buy something new. And I found that that's really helpful for me because it keeps me contained in a good way. And if you don't take anything else with you from this video, I hope the one thing that you try out in your own home is to fold your clothes file folder style. I think that's what it's called. It's from Marie Kondo. I've been doing this since I read that book years ago and it has honestly changed my life. It's life changing. And it just makes it so much easier to find what I'm looking for because I'm not stacking my clothes on top of each other. I'm putting them next to each other so I can so easily just see everything I have. Another thing I do in my closet is I use baskets for out of season storage. So this is great. Again, these baskets weren't purchased for this closet. I had them when I had the like big locker system in the other apartment. So right now in these two baskets, I have one basket of all of my shorts. And then in the second basket, I keep some out of season pieces. So it's kind of a mix actually. It's some pieces that are out of season and then it's some pieces that I just don't wear very often and I'm sort of packing them away for a little bit and then in a couple months I'll go through them again and if I still am feeling like they're not resonating with me or I'm not gonna wear them then I'll donate them or sell them but I find that when I pack some of my pieces away for a couple months it really like makes them feel new again when I get them out and it's nice to have that distance for a little bit if that makes sense and it really um, can make my wardrobe feel new again if I just pack some pieces away for a couple months. Another thing I do to organize my closet is I use nails for hat storage and bag storage. So again, this is gonna be different. You know, maybe you're living in a place where you're not allowed to put nails in the wall, but I am allowed to put nails in the wall in this apartment. And it's just so, it's such an easy way to create some vertical storage. Obviously you can buy like fancier hooks to put on the walls, but I feel like 
I have a box of nails and I don't need to buy anything fancier than that. Um, especially because once I put a bag or a hat on them, you can't see them, right? So I don't wanna buy anything new for that. I mean, if you just look at my closet, there's a lot of wall space in there that's not being used. Even like that whole back portion. I thought about like putting a piece of art in there because generally our closet door is just open. And then the last thing that I do isn't really necessarily an organizational tip, but it is something that I always like to share when I talk about like fashion and stuff in these types of videos. And that's, I think of my impact I'm sure you guys are aware that the earth cannot handle our overconsumption and fashion is the second most polluting industry in the world next to the oil industry and that's not something that I like to support so generally I shop secondhand first as a way to lessen my impact on the planet and then when I do shop new I like to support brands that are ethical and sustainable and for me that means brands that are using earth-friendly materials like organic cotton, hemp, you know, there are so many great fabrics that have a lesser impact than things like polyester and synthetic fabrics. And also brands that are very transparent about the working conditions of the people that are in their supply chain. Um, because unfortunately, most brands aren't and there is so much corruption in this industry and unfairness and I don't want to support that, so I don't. When I first started transitioning from like a normal relationship with fast fashion and the fashion industry and shopping to a more minimal and conscious one, I had a capsule wardrobe for over two years and I think that really helped me sort of reset my mindset around shopping and consumption and so yeah, I have those videos I can link them for you if you're interested in that or if you're also on that same journey and I'd love to hear from you guys if you would like to learn more about that journey that I went on and that I'm still on or if you have any specific questions that I can address in videos please let me know I would love to share videos on that topic that would be helpful for you guys so let me know in the comments below and I really hope you enjoyed this look into my closet Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning platform that I'm so excited to share with you. Skillshare members get access to thousands of different classes that cover a variety of topics like video editing, marketing, design, creative writing, and so much more. Each class is generally around an hour long, but they're all broken down into shorter lessons so that you can easily fit them into your lifestyle. I recently took Sorella Moore's class about YouTube and it was so fascinating. I've been a big fan of her here on YouTube for a long time, so it was great to be able to dive deeper into her creative process and how she uses the platform. I also just started Emily Henderson's interior design class and it's been so fun. She's so talented and we're actually moving soon. So I'm taking all of her styling inspiration and holding on to it for our new apartment. Skillshare is offering two free months of their premium membership for the first 500 people that join using my link below. And this is a great way to explore and grow your own creativity while also supporting my channel. Whether you're a creative, a lifelong learner, beginner, or pro, there are classes on Skillshare that are meant for you. And I can't wait to hear from you what classes you end up taking on the platform.